Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. As California fights Trump over troops at border, Texas has perfect response. As rumors circulate over California possibly backing off of its commitment to send National Guard troops to President Donald Trump for border security operations, Texas just delivered the perfect response. It puts the Golden State to shame. According to Daily Caller, the ultra-liberal governor of California Jerry Brown may be refusing to answer President Donald Trump's call for troops to secure our border with Mexico. Disagreement over the duties that will be expected of those troops continues. Brown initially indicated, through a letter on Wednesday, April 11, 2018, to Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen and Secretary of Defense Mad Dog James Mattis, that he would send 400 troops. Brown's letter pledged 400 troops to help in an ongoing program to fight transnational crime, which included drug smugglers, transnational gangs, and human traffickers. However, Brown insisted in his letter that the California National Guard members not be involved in any sort of federal immigration enforcement operations. This will not be a mission to build a new wall, Brown wrote. It will not be a mission to round up women and children or detain people escaping violence and seeking a better life. And the California National Guard will not be enforcing federal immigration laws, Brown added. Brown's letter did not indicate as to how many of the 400 California National Guard troops would join the 55 guardsmen already stationed on the border. The location of guard personnel, and numbers specifically working in support of operations along the border, the coast and elsewhere in the state, will be dictated by the needs on the ground, a spokesperson for the governor's office told Daily Caller in an email. Following Brown's letter, state and federal officials began the fruitless conversation over what the California guardsmen would be allowed to do after being sent to the border. Those talks reportedly took a dive and then came to a screeching halt. According to the New York Post, California and the federal government could not work out a deal on what the additional troops would be permitted to do, causing the president to blast Brown on Twitter. Looks like Jerry Brown and California are not looking for safety and security along their very porous border, Trump wrote. He cannot come to terms for the National Guard to patrol and protect the border. The high crime rate will only get higher. Much wanted wall in San Diego already started. The governor determined that what we asked for is unsupportable, but we will have other iterations, Vitiello said. What a shame and an embarrassment to the people of California and our country. Brown is supposed to bear the interests of lawful U.S. citizens in his state over those of illegal immigrants. Instead, his actions make him look like a disloyal fool. Following Vitiello's announcement, Rep. Roger Williams, RTX, had the perfect response for California's Governor Brown. During an interview on Fox News' Varney & Company with host Stuart Varney, Williams totally schooled California on what it means to show loyalty to our country and to honor our nation's sovereignty. In regards to Brown balking at sending National Guard troops to secure the border, Varney said to Williams, I'm sure you don't think much to this, vent, please and Williams wasted no time in shaming Brown. Well, I don't think much to it, Governor Abbott of Texas is doing a great job. He's doing his responsibility, as you said, 700 on the ground now of 1,400, Williams began. Jerry Brown sees things totally different, he continued before really laying into Brown. I mean, we've got issues down there with drug wars, we've got sovereignty issues, we've got people coming over terrorists that wanted to kill Americans, and I guess he sees it a little different by not wanting to send his National Guard there," Williams continued. So, that's the difference between California and Texas. After Varney asked Williams if Brown's refusal to send troops to the border was a provocation to Trump, Williams responded, well, there's no question about it. I mean, he doesn't favor President Trump, but what's more important is adhering to the laws of the land, and we need to defend our borders. He continued. California has a border, Texas has a border, and I would think Governor Brown would want to do what's right rather than putting politics over his dislike for this president. Varney also asked Williams what the primary reason is for Texas' decision to send troops to the border. Williams had the perfect response. Well, I'm former Secretary of State of Texas and very familiar with what's happening on the border in Texas. We've lived with this problem a long time, and you merely go down there and you see those that are coming over here legally. They're coming between the ports, not through the ports," Williams said. The tremendous drug war, the drug cartels going on down there has to be taken care of, and then, there is the sovereignty issue of sovereign borders of the United States of America. So, this is not anything to support President Trump, although he's asked, and Governor Abbott is doing the right thing," Williams continued. We've been involved in this with Governor Perry, 
Governor Bush, in securing our borders in Texas from people who wanted to come over here and break the law, Williams added. I could not agree more with Rep. Williams. You can always count on a Texan to give it to you straight. It's no wonder why Texas has such a great reputation for taking a stand when others, like California, fail to do so. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.